students now we can discuss about fluoridation and defluoridation fluoridation fluoridation is the process of addition of fluoride into the water fluoride is required for the human body human being is needed some percentage of fluoride for the body so what are the chemicals used for uh, maintain of uh, fluoride chemicals used are sodium fluoride sodium silica fluoride and hydrofluorosilica acid these are the chemicals used for fluoridation these chemicals will be added into the water and after that the water will be uh mixed properly then the mixed water will be sent to the filtration tank after filtration the water will be stored in over a tank or the sump then then the water will be distributed to the public and the defluoridation defluoridation is removal of excess fluoride from the water some excess percentage of fluoride is will be present in the uh, water that should be removed excess means the desirable limit of fluoride is 1 ppm and the permissible limit is 1.5 ppm the fluoride limit should be actually up to it should be less than 1 ppm in uh, some worst condition up to 1.5 ppm it can be acceptable but how this fluoride fluoride will be increase in the water uh, in the most of uh, most of the cases uh, the fluoride will be increased in the ground water because of the uh, geochemical reaction in the earth the rocks are having the pegmatite veins pegmatite is a type of rock this contains the uh, um, feldspar group of minerals because of uh, diluting these uh, feldspar group mineral the fluoride level will be increased in the water methods to remove fluoride what are the methods to remove fluoride the first one is using activated alumina second is nalagonda technique third one is ion exchange adsorption and the fourth one is reverse osmosis reverse osmosis is the uh, common uh, process uh, everywhere uh, the reverse osmosis uh, method will be used to remove the fluoride excess fluoride in the water what is nalagonda process you can see in the screen on the screen uh, the process chart is shown drawing is shown in the first the raw water will enter and there excess fluoride content water will be uh, entered into the uh, chamber where the lime and alum will be Uh, added into the chamber and the water will be moved uh, into the flocculation chamber there the proper mixing will be there and because due to the flocculation the water uh, the excess water will be uh, entered into the sedimentation tank the excess uh, fluoride content will be settled down uh, the, in the sedimentation tank that can be uh, washed off from the outlet which is provided in the bottom of the sedimentation tank only pure water will be supplied to the filtration the filtration process will be uh, uh, going on in the filtration tank the filtered water will be pumped into the ore tank and the water uh, will be stored in the ore tank the stored water will be uh, 
so again uh, directly we can supply to the public this is the nalagonda process for the defluoridation removing of excess fluoride thank you